Our vet, Dr. Joe Landers, is here to answer your pet questions, as always, this morning. And this week, he's brought along Lucky. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. This is this Lucky. He's about two years old. Uh, one of our clients found him. He's running around. He's a really nice dog. He, he was someone's dog, and no one's been kind of claiming him. So we've got him all neutered and looking better because he was kind of a little, all little, up. little, all fixed up. He's, he's this kind of terrier, Lhasa, Shizu, Pug cross. He's got a lovely underbite here. Uh, just a really nice <laughs> little dog. Uh, doesn't know sit or shake or anything else, but he sure he sure is a, a fun little guy. So fun to play with. We, Where can we him. find Lucky? Yes, uh, he's actually over at Heritage, which is 918-627-8575, okay. uh, uh, and I believe he should be on AmelAid.org on the net because he's a little AmelAid dog. And 627-8575 so. yes. to adopt Lucky. All right, we got a few viewer questions this morning. Dasha, Dasha says she inherited a two-year-old pit bull who whines when he's outside and wants to know what she can do to ease the separation anxiety and stop all that whining. Yeah, you know, a lot of times look outside and, and figure out why we're kind of whining. Uh, a lot of times this is a long conversation with someone because you got to try to figure out what they're whining about. A lot of times you're right, they're a little anxious about something. It may be separation, it may be a noise outside, it may be wanting to kind of come back inside. So those are things you probably need to talk to your veterinarian and, and kind of kind of work through a little bit because you certainly don't want them to get kind of nervous or anything or anxiety to kind of grow. Yeah. So. George whines all the time and yeah. we're still trying to figure <laughs> that out. Uh, all right, Anne has a nine month old German Shepherd who loves raw hides, but they give her diarrhea. <laughs> She's tried the rubber and plastic chew toys, but the dog doesn't like them. What do you suggest? Uh, you know, uh, a lot of times there may be a little toy called a Kong or something, and if they don't like them, the Kongs, the Kongs are kind of fun because you can actually put some treats inside or some peanut butter sometimes, and they have to work it out a little bit, and they'll kind of lick at it and kind of carry it around, and that may be something to, to kind of try. Uh, obviously, stay away from the raw hides or whatever, and then sometimes I'll tell people, you know, kind of go a different direction. There may be some ball chasing and some frisbee tossing or some jogging or something that totally is a different activity than chewing, but it gives them something to do all the same. So, all right, uh, thank you, Dr. Joe. And again, if you uh, want to adopt Lucky here, you can go to animalaid.org or call Heritage Veterinary Hospital. And if you want to learn more about Heritage or see other pets who need homes, just go to our website at kjrh. Dot com. We'll see you next week. Well, thank you so much. Still